Good evening friends. My name is Vinod Vargama and welcome to Tax System Automation Solution. Now in this video I show you three different tasks how to write the, your program in the program blocks and how to use the input memories and the output memories and how to assign in our program. So first task is very simple. I just use one push button as a switch and I use one output as a motor means I press the switch my motor should be on and I release the switch my motor should be off it's a very simple task I need only one input or push button and one output for motor now I open the program block is the first network and you see already some uh, main you know, favorites instruction are there and you just open this task card you just this is your favorites instruction this always showing here means you use in program mostly repeated instruction you always keep in this row it's directly used it's where it's time saving application because every time you go in the bit logic and the select it now it is only in your favorite list you use directly drag and drop and use so this is the basic instruction it's the bit logic normal open contact normal close contact the not coil reset coil and also the set coil is the flip flop and SR flip flop and the RS flip flop. Now the next is the positive edge in the negative edge. This option also is same P trigger and and trigger. So this is the basic instruction we have used in widely. Now right now our task is very simple. I just press the input. My output should be on. So now here I just configure one normal open contact and one quiet. Here I assign the input, but I don't know which is the starting range of my input memory. So just go on the device configuration and click and you just see. In this PLC, 24 DI and 16 DO available. Now the range of this addressing is, input addressing range is 0 to 2 means total 24 DI and so it's reserve your 3 bytes, 0, 1 and 2. And next is output is the 16 output so they reserve your two bytes 0 and 1 means if you use the first input your first input is i4 input and 0, 0.0 so this is your first input and output is q0.0 this is your first output by default they generate the tag but suppose I given the name as the rename I use as a switch so I just run this now as the switch and this is the motor output so I just connect the motor uh, motor output okay so now this your task is completed and I just check if it's running or not if you don't have PLC just use the PLC soft PLC same software and check your logic now I just click and download just wait uh, the compiling process is start the load and finish now the monitoring on now we check it okay, it's working or not okay right now in healthy mode uh, this is the input memory and this is the output memory and it's uh, IB0 means 0 bytes total 8 bits and it's the output 8 bits as a zero number series now i press this input you just see the motor should be on then i release this input motor should be off it's a very simple task okay so our in basically this is the basic program language is the ladder in the 300 series we have used the three different language in the normal operation first ladder second is the fbd and third is the stl and if you design the logic 
in the ladder now you just convert your ladder logic into other language so just click on like app ready okay, your block is directly convert to an app ready suppose you convert in statement list so just click on stl your program is converted in stl but you are the beginner just starting start the program in the vlc so in the normal case we have used only one simple language is ladder language so first always prefer ladder if you already getting the good grip in ladder that time you will switch in fbd and after in stl stl we have used basically in the professional platform now our next task is series and parallel operation how to doing the series and parallel operation so suppose this is a different gates i design the end gates logic so you just see input a and input b i just use two input combination and they generate the one output means i connect the one input i 0.0 as input a i connect the input i 0.1 as input b and my q 0.0 as a output and you just see both inputs are zero my output should be zero first input is one second input is zero output should be zero third input is zero second input is one and my output should be zero and mean last condition both inputs are one that time on output should be on means both input is compulsory is required the signal is high that time my output should be on so how to write this logic i just insert one more contacts and change the name is the input a and this is the i0.1 i given the name is the input 2 and this is my how p is the output okay now let's we will check it's working like okay now you just see our monitoring on right now just see both inputs condition are zero my output should be zero if i press first input means one zero in this condition my output should be zero now i check third condition one zero in this condition my output should be zero and the fourth condition both inputs are one that time my output should be one okay both input are one my output is one and i just give the input one okay so this is the series operation and we are doing in the same logic uh, in oring block suppose input a in input b and output so you just see both inputs are zero that time output is zero if the any one input and both are input is one in all the three case my output should be one so in this case i just change the one program and check it is a parallel operation so i open the branch close the one contact and close the branch and here i assign the input and download okay now i just release both input now first of all first condition both input zero my output should be zero if i press the one any one input output should be on third condition at time also output should be on and both inputs are one also my output should be on so this is the oring operation and later we will discuss about the one more important topics is the uh, latching concept so please uh, watch my videos i share you this all the information in the next videos thank you if you like my videos please like subscribe and share it